I've developed a browser-based app. Uh, I can start up Chrome and then go. Okay. And this is the app running, but you can also uh, install this to your mobile phone as well. So you can run it offline. So you can click on install app, click on install. And that's now installed to the phone as well. And uh, you can then turn on the Bluetooth LE on here. Actually, before that, I can just show um, what happens. As soon as that app's installed, you should see a added to home screen message appear. So then I can view it here, BLE DMM app. So I can just click and run that. And uh, the, the screen's a bit awkward to see here just because of the camera. It's normally okay to read, but I'm going to just turn the light on, on that. Um, and I can press this button and hold it down to turn on the Bluetooth capability. And then if I hit meter select, I can see it there, BDM Bluetooth digital multimeter, click on pair. And uh, that's now working. And it works quite well, so I can you know go through the ranges and things, and uh, there's a log here as well. And I can get through these. All of these function fine. The overload's just because it's on resistance and there's nothing connected to the terminals. And uh, I can also for instance, change to AC volts, uh, so that's 600 millivolt range. I can hit the range button to go into manual ranges as well. And I can stop the scrolling if I want to, and then just be able to view all the, the historical data that's been captured along with the timestamps. And then just click on auto scroll again to continue doing what it's doing. Uh, I can also clear the log and uh, just um, Disable the Bluetooth as well, there. And then turn it back on again. And there's the data again. Okay. And that's it pretty much. Uh, it doesn't do much else. Um, but I think the app is pretty usable now. Thanks for watching.